Everybody eats, but not everybody cooks, which is amazing because food is literally one of the languages of love. In honor of food and love, love and food, I present to you Date Night Meals. Date Night Meals. You don't have to be in a relationship to cook a date night meal. If anything, you should love yourself, cook for yourself. But this particular time, this meal is inspired by the celebrity couple, Heath and Mariah, or should I say Mariah and Heath. If you're a fan of David Dobrik's cinematic universe, then you know who they are. <laughs> Alright, bye. Good night. Good night. Holy. By the way, we're in my f***ing backyard. Shut the f*** up. It's all yours. Are you serious, David? Yeah. I've said it on TikTok and I'll say it again. Fellas, you have to cook for your ladies. You just have to. So what could Heath make for Mariah that she would absolutely love? Well, I found this tweet about Italian food and I ran with it. But it had to be something simple. We don't want to mess up date night. You know what I'm saying? So here it is, three course Italian Date night meal. Date night meals. Bruschetta. 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 Brusch I don't know. This is a perfect appetizer. You want to do this real quick and easy, but you want to start off by preparing your ingredients. Then take your knife and slide it horizontally and cut off that fleshy portion. You can save that for later for a stock, but you don't need it for this dish. Cut your tomato into fine bite-sized portions for your bruschetta. Now we're going to move on and prepare everything else for this dish. The way I'm cooking right now is to show you how you would do this for the date night. Always make sure your prep area is clean, wipe it up, start chopping up all of our ingredients for this dish. Your specific cut on the ingredients doesn't really matter, trust me. If you need the full written recipe, I'll put that below in the description, so go check that out. Once you have all your ingredients prepped, you can start cooking. So now, you want to take your saucepan on medium-high heat. We're going to make a fresh pasta sauce here. So number one, you're going to put in about a tablespoon of olive oil. Once that gets hot, add in your shallots and your garlic. You want to get that nice and toasty. Add in your tomatoes, leave it, forget about it, push it to the side. We're going to season that sauce later on, but we're going to get started on prepping the meatballs. One pound of ground beef and half a pound of pork. That's a perfect combo for meatballs. We're going to add in our parsley that we chopped and we're going to add in two teaspoons of garlic powder and one egg. Now this secret ingredient going in next is our Italian bread fresh Italian bread soaked in milk. We're gonna add that in, don't do what I did, make sure you cut off the crust, grate up some Parmesan cheese and put in some fresh black pepper and salt. Roll up our meatballs and we're ready to fry. You're gonna put your pan on medium high heat. Again, add in about a tablespoon of olive oil and pan fry them, get that nice brown color. Now, you don't have to cook them all the way. You don't wanna cook them all the way. But make sure when you take them out of the pan, they're nice and brown, and you're going to put them to the side. Let them drain off. That's the sauce. It's time to season. Your sauce should have been on the heat for about 30 minutes now. We're going to add in garlic powder, salt, sugar, red pepper flakes, and our meatballs. Don't forget the fresh basil. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it up, mix it up, mix it. Once you add those meatballs and the sauce, you have about 30 minutes until everything is completed. It's game time! You gotta roll now. Your date's here, it's time to serve. You wanna get your fresh Italian bread on a baking sheet, get in the oven about five minutes just until it's nice and toasty. Once you put your bread into the oven, make sure your water for your pasta is boiling. Once it is boiling, add in your salt. Mix up your bruschetta. Take those tomatoes you chopped up, take some of the parsley you cut up, a little bit of the basil you chopped up, add some salt, some balsamic vinegar, mix it all together, and it's that simple. You want your date to be happy with your presentation. Grate up some Parmesan cheese on top, add some fresh olive oil, and add some fresh balsamic vinegar. That's ready to go. Take that and put it in front of your date, and let them snack on that while you finish up the rest of the meal. Your water should be boiling by now. You want to take your noodles, look at the package. If it says 10 minutes, put it in the water for 8 minutes. If it says 8 minutes, put it in the water for 6 minutes. You get the picture. Take 2 minutes off of whatever the cooking time says. You're going to finish that pasta in your sauce. Right, but just don't get lost in the sauce if you know what I mean. And make sure to add in that liquid gold, that pasta water. So it's going to make it Buenissimo, chef's kiss. Add in some fresh Parmesan cheese. Oh my goodness, just talking about this, I'm starving. Mix it all around, let it get nice lovey-dovey. You gotta let those flavors get, get to know each other. 
I'm not going to show you how to make a salad, guys. Come on. You add the lettuce, the tomatoes, you get the picture. Put whatever dressing you like. You want to serve both your salad and your meatballs at the same time with your preferred beverage. You like water, you like you like some spirits, you know, some wine, whatever you like. Once you have everything plated up, add some of that basil on top of your spaghetti to make it nice and pretty, but wait on the Parmesan cheese. You want to be smooth with it. Plate that nice plate of spaghetti in front of your date. Bring that Parmesan and your grater over you start grating that cheese and you tell them just say when smooth i put y'all on game today if you like this video today make sure you subscribe let me know which celebrity couple should i cook for next what dish what cuisine who are you feeling let me know guys let me know in the comments below thank you for the support and hey i don't have a closeout so that's it HM take eight. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Alright, focus, focus. We